If you want to learn how to hit the golf ball crisp every time, I have a simple golf drill for you. This easy golf drill is going to teach you how to control your backswing length and ultimately sequence your golf swing for better ball striking. Now, this golf drill is perfect for all golfers, but if you're struggling with an overswing, keep watching. Before we get into this golf lesson video, if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. If you're a returning viewer, hello again. Little reminder for you all, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as it helps the channel out and turn your bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. So why is this simple golf drill perfect for all golfers? Well, I have so many people coming into the lesson studio with so many different swing faults as such. You see people sliding off the golf ball, swaying too far off it. You see people bending towards the target. You see people standing up in their back swings, having level shoulder turns. This golf swing drill is gonna simplify that backswing for you. And like I said, help you sequence up your golf swing. But first, you need a tour stick. I've been using tour sticks loads recently in lots of my videos. So if you don't have tour sticks, put it on a wish list, Christmas list, birthday list, whatever it might be. Make sure you have some tour sticks as they're great for all parts of the golf game. All I want you to do with your tour stick is pop it under your trail armpit. So the one furthest away from the target, your trail armpit. And it doesn't matter what length is either side, have it equal if you want, if you're a bit OCD like me. And you'll see that the tour stick starts to point towards the target side. It's not straight out because of the way that it's in your armpit. It's gonna point more towards your target side. Now, set yourself up like you're gonna hit a golf shot. Even put a ball down so you're, you know that you're set up like you normally would. What I want you to do is basically swing back and this is gonna give you an ideal swing length. And again, for those over swingers that swing the golf club all the way back here, I've had people in the past that can see their club head as they swing back. They can see it on this side of them. This is gonna be perfect for you to understand that swing length. Tour stick under your armpit. Set yourself up. And as you start to swing back, your lead arm, so the one closest to your target now, as you start to swing back, you'll see that my arm is going to hit that tour stick. Once that arm hits the tour stick, it's down to you to start to move your body, turn your body to get your backswing completed. That is going to give you an ideal swing length. Those overswingers that bend your lead arm. It's going to stop you doing it. You're not allowed to bend your lead arm. It's going to be cheating. I want you to keep that lead arm nice and straight. Turn that body until you can swing as far back as you can. And that is going to give you an ideal backswing feel. It's going to make you feel really connected. It's going to make you feel like your arms aren't really doing a lot. They're staying out in front of you all the time rather than getting this lead arm going across your chest too much, which we see as quite a big swing fault in a lot of amateur golfers. And it's common with over the top moves because you get this lead arm pinching across your chest. And then the only way it has to go is away from your chest. And that's where you start to see over the top swing. So again, this is perfect for keeping those arms out in front of your body more rather than across your chest. So it's gonna stop those over the top swings too, as well as those over swings. Now I wouldn't hit full shots with this because when you swing through this tour stick is gonna fall out of your armpit and so on. And we don't want things poking you in the wrong places. So if you are gonna hit a few balls with this, I would just hit a few sort of punch shot feelings or half shots and making sure that your arm isn't even, is just touching that tour stick on the way back. And I just want you to chip a few forwards. You can hear there, nice, crisp, clean strike. Ball then turf contact with my irons, and you can use this feel with the driver as well, because those overswingers out there, with driver, you're gonna be swinging that even further back because you wanna swing it nice and hard and fast. Tour stick under your trail arm. Set yourself up like you're gonna hit one. Swing back until that arm touches that tour stick, and then you know your arm work is done. Add some lower body, upper body turn in there, and that is your backswing complete. 
nicely sequenced up, do a few drills, do a few reps, and then hit a shot with those same feels. Imagine that that stick is still there. And listen to that strike. Really simple goal swing drill here to help you sequence up your body to get those crisp strikes that you're all after. Use it for driver, for irons, pitching, and so on. It can help with all parts of your game. Let me know in the comments down below if it helps your game. If you've seen this drill before, I'd love to know. And if you've already used it before, did it help your game? And do you still use it? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thanks all for watching. A little reminder again for you all, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up as it helps the channel out and turn your bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.